All right, welcome back to the shop. So today, we got a pretty exciting episode, I think. We have the new six inch chainsaw. It's pretty neat. Um, this is an M12 tool. And it's uh, got everything you'd expect from a chainsaw. Nice uh, mini six inch bar. It's kind of cute. Looks like it's built off of the Sawzall-ish hatchet uh, body style. Uh, we have the knuckle guard there. Here's our fill for the bar oil. A little leaky yet, I just filled it. And uh, nice handle here. Uh, a little guard here for your knuckles here and your... Uh, tool for adjusting everything so pretty excited we're gonna take it out and see what we can do Okay, so here we go. We got a two and a half inch diameter cut. This is some old dead maple. We'll see how this cuts. Not a whole lot to it. Uh, we can see the chip coming off of it's pretty good. We'll watch that again. right through. Now this is some old dead stuff so it should cut relatively easy. Um, but we'll just keep going here and see what we get. We're still at uh, full bars on the battery, 6 amp hour battery. We'll keep going here. I'm going to lay on a little bit and see how far we go till it get, cuts out. So you can get it to cut out but I mean I'm laying in it pretty hard. If you let the saw do the work it's really does a good job. See there if you try and come around on it. So there we go, we made a bunch of uh, quick succession cuts. Looks like we're doing pretty good on our uh, chain lube. It's not really burning through that really quick. Since we have the battery out of it here, let's take a look and we can see we're getting plenty of oil to the bar here. We're not really running low on, on oil here yet. It's uh, going through it, but it's not, I don't think it's alarmingly going through it. I think that's probably a pretty good setup. We'll see, I understand the M18 version really goes through the oil, so we'll see how this is. I don't have an M18 one here to try out, so we'll just compare, but it does seem like this is getting adequate lubrication to the chain, so that's a good thing. Put our battery back in. Okay, so here we go. We got a four inch piece of uh, dried out maple, and we'll just see what we get with it.
Again, having to let the saw go through in its own time, you could rock back and forth on it like a regular chainsaw, but I do think we'd cut out there, so uh, we'll just keep going here with a few cuts and see how this thing does. I don't know if you can see it or not in the video, but we have a decent fling of oil when we turn this on. So you can see that time I laid on it and tried to rock it a little bit too aggressively and I did get a cutout, but we'll see here. I mean, the tool's not really getting that warm. I mean, it's a little bit warm to the touch, but it's not bad and we'll see that, uh, we'll see if it keeps going here. I think we'll be fine. Just can't lay on it as hard as I was. There again, we got the cut out, but that was my own doing. So after all that, it's still pretty pretty good, and if we take the battery out there, we can see there's a really nice amount of oil all over this. Uh, chain's definitely getting lubricated. We're almost out of uh, lube here, but we've done a fair amount of cutting, and uh, I think it's, you know, it's, it's nice. It's holding up pretty good. It's, like I say, it's a little bit warm, but it's it's not bad. Okay, so we've made a few cuts here with it, and we can see we're now at two bars. Not too bad, considering all the cutting we've been doing. We'll make a few more cuts, and we'll check it with a infrared temp gun. So we can kind of feel that knot as we go through there. Um, it's definitely got some grabby points in it. But let's just check here. We'll look at the tool. And we can see, obviously the motor area is warm. Blades nice and warm, as you would expect. The handle area is a little bit warm, it's not too bad. There we go, a little bit more accurate, about 90. 
Eh, it's a little warm. It's not hot, but it's warm. Motor's getting a little warm in there. Batteries getting a little warm, not too bad. Connection points, I guess, is what we can see there. So, overall, I'm happy with it. It's not overly uh, burning up there. We can see the blades getting pretty warm. There we go. We can see the blades getting pretty warm. But that's to be expected. All right, let's do a few more cuts and see if we can't kill the battery. About as close as I want to get to the vise there. I am noticing uh, up here on top it's getting a little warm. So let's see what we're actually at there. Eh, not crazy warm. About 115 degrees or so. It's not out of hand. And we are now still at two bars on the battery. So I think we all get the idea working well take the battery out there and like I said we can see we've got a good amount of lubrication on the bar I don't think overly too much but we can also see we've about run ourselves out of lube so I think this is a good point it looks about like uh, you probably have to every every battery probably fill it up a little bit. It doesn't take a whole lot. I did notice that when I filled it, it filled very quickly. Um, it was a little bit air bubbly when you have it sitting down here, but it wasn't bad. Um, overall, I say it's very nice. It uh, feels good. I have a tendency to want to grab it here, which I shouldn't. Uh, I should grab it back here, obviously, and when you do grab it here, it feels quite nice. Uh, the, the lock is a little finicky. But uh, I think I get used to that. I just, that's me not overly used to it. So I think overall this is a nice tool and uh, went for a little bit different type of review on this. You can see here we don't have a lot of uh, chip buildup in here. Nothing, ex you know, more than what you'd normally expect to see. But this is exceptionally dry wood. So maybe if we had some wetter stuff we might have a little more accumulation there I don't know but there we go quick review on the uh, Milwaukee hatchet pruning saw I like it thanks for watching have a great day